Today we're going to be answering this question, fill in the missing numbers. Now, I know they taught me how to count numbers, right? So wouldn't it be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? Okay, I can count numbers. So let me just go ahead and plug them in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But that seems wrong. Why? Why does it feel wrong when I go from six I go to nine ten or am I supposed to go from nine to ten so something that you'll find out very quickly when you're counting numbers and as you get older is that a lot of times in English we're reading from left to right we're gonna go from left to right from left to right and then we're gonna go to this ten so what we're actually doing is we're not gonna go ahead and put the two from top to bottom because that's not how we really read we read from left to right and then we go to the next line from left to right so you are slowly going down but you're not going down from the very beginning here i would go ahead and say one two three four five six seven eight nine that's how i would actually count to this 10 and that would give you a hundred now be aware what we did earlier isn't too far off. You notice right now that we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What was correct though is that if you're counting this from top to bottom, if you're looking at this either way, here I still have 4, 5, 6. So the 5 is going to be right no matter in what direction you count it. But because you're counting from top to bottom, you're also going to keep counting down and you would count to this 10. And since I count from 6 to 10, that would be wrong. And that direction would not give you the right answer. Let's try a new problem here. Fill in the missing numbers. But now I'm going to notice that there is no numbers at all. So I can go in whatever order I want to. But what I do realize is that it's a little bit of a zigzag. Let me go ahead and curl. it's a little bit of a zigzag. So if I count down again, that is not necessarily going to give me the order that I want. Notice how the counting could be a little bit off to make sure that you're very consistent with how you're counting. You're always going to be counting from left to right. And then you go down and then you go from left to right and then you go down. Right. So if I were to do like a snake, this is how it would look right. So notice that it's very smooth in the path, but if I go zigzag, I would it wouldn't necessarily work and it looks a little bit distorted. Remember that when you're counting numbers, you want to make it easy for the person that comes right after you to be able to count properly. If you say one, two, but then I say three, four, five, six, seven, you know, so now if I showed my paper to someone else and I said, hey, what's the next number? They have to go ahead and look around for what your previously last number was. Now, because we were working on this, obviously we know, hey, here's a seven. That's the last number that I counted. And they would say the next number is eight. Just be careful as the easiest way. So you don't even run into that problem would simply be to keep counting in the correct order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, this isn't to say all of our brains can do this. All of our brains can count from left to right every single time. We can always count left to right. Some of our brains are different. They're wired differently. And that's totally okay that if you're counting four, right, that you'll count here and then you'll count here. And then you're going to count here and then you'll count here. So it's normal for a lot of people to count in a very disjointed way. But just be aware that when we're looking at a paper or when we're trying to check your paper, a lot of the time we're simply looking for those patterns of going from left to right to left to right to left to right, because that is how we're reading. If you were to write the word there as an example, you are reading from T all the way to this E. You're not going to be reading from the H to the T to the E to the R. So these are just patterns that we created in English and that follow through to the way that we count as well.